This man is fast becoming Sri Lanka's backbone in the middle order. With four centuries, nine fifties and more than 100 international caps already, Lahiru Tidemani has been one of the most consistent batsmen for the country over the past two years. The left-hander's impressive form has also led him to being appointed vice-captain of the national side across all three formats. Terrific strike from Tidemani. And soon after he was named the team's second-in-command, we at ICC Cricket 360 decided to treat him and his mates to a fun game of beach cricket. At just 24, life could not be better for the South Paw, and he's certainly enjoying the added responsibility. Yeah, it's kind of a, a big role uh, in my career. So I just want to continue what, what I've been doing recently. Angelo is like 26 years of age. He's captaining really well. And the boys in the Sri Lanka cricket team uh, at the moment, there are a lot of young players in that team. So just want to uh, do what, what I've been doing recently. So I think uh, if, I, if I do that, I, uh, it's, not, it's not much big deal. Tiri, as he's affectionately known, grew up in a cricket mad household. His brother represented Sri Lanka under 15s and it wasn't long before he followed suit. The left-hander played a lot of school and beach cricket in his younger days, but the real turning point came when he met this man, former club cricketer and now commentator, Roshan Abbasinger. When I was uh, 19 and uh, after I played my uh, school career, I, I just wanted to play for a club. And uh, uh, then after that, I met Roshan Abbasinger and uh, he, he was the uh, uh, chairman of the Ragama Cricket Club. and. Uh, and uh, he, he told me to come and play to Ragama. So uh, I accepted it and uh, it was really nice to play for Ragama because uh, uh, through I, throughout my career, I uh, played uh, some good innings for them. And after that, I uh, developed my cricket career, you know. And uh, then I came to uh, Sri Lanka A team and after that, uh, this national cricket side. So it was wonderful to uh, represent Ragama. Tiri averaged 60 in his first full season at Ragama Cricket Club and soon found himself in the Sri Lanka senior squad. The left-hander's form was patchy in his first few games as an opener, but once he moved into the middle order, he started to feel much more at home. Soon the results were there for all to see. On the tour to Australia in early 2013, he notched up his maiden international 100 to guide Sri Lanka to victory in the Adelaide ODI. I had the privilege to bat through the inning, so yeah, uh, it was nice to uh, get a hundred in Australian conditions. So, uh, and uh, and the other hand, uh, Dilshan helped me a lot because uh, Dilshan uh, scored some runs uh, in that match too. So it helped me a lot. The test ton came barely a few months later. Tiri smashed a stunning 155 not out against Bangladesh in goal. By now, he was slowly beginning to cement himself as one of the most effective players in the Sri Lankan middle order. Individually, he was going from strength to strength, and as a team, Sri Lanka were only getting better. They clinched the Asia Cup in March this year, but the best was still yet to come. Now, has he got it? Yes, he has. Sri Lanka, the new champions of the ICC World T20. Well played. The Lankans beat India to secure the ICC World 2020-2014 title on the 6th of April. After being part of the squad that lost the final in the 2012 edition of the tournament, it was a huge moment for the 24-year-old to be on the winning side. It was wonderful because uh, uh, we knew uh, India going to uh, come us very hard. So. Uh, we uh, planned some few areas uh, because their batting lineup uh, is very strong. So we just planned uh, some uh, uh, tricks for them, and uh, I think uh, that uh, really worked throughout the match. So uh, it was wonderful feeling, uh, you know. Uh, we 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 came like four finals uh, in the last uh, uh, seven eight years. So. Uh, just wanted to uh, win a tournament, so we made it uh, uh, finally uh, in this tournament, so really happy about it. Tiri and the Sri Lanka squad are currently in the midst of a busy overseas tour to England. 
They've already secured victory in the ODI series and the one-off T20, but the key will be to have a good outing on the test front as well. Kumar Sangakkar and uh, uh, Mahela Jawadhan, they both, uh, I mean, uh, they really helped uh, me in the younger years and uh, still they are helping me like uh, batting uh, uh, tips and all. They, they, they have been uh, brilliant in the, those areas. The advice from the two stalwarts has certainly paid dividends so far, but the real test for this young gun will be in the coming years. Both Sangha and Mahela are in the twilight of their careers and it will be up to players like Tiri to step up and carry the team forward. And that's the 50 for Taramana. He's done exactly what the team wants. But if the start he's had is anything to go by, Lahiru Tiramani is well on his way to establishing himself as Sri Lanka's next Mr. Dependable.